Jake, right here in front of this home is where family members of the victims tell me a shooting took place. You can still see the blood stains right here. The family tells me they saw the shooting happen right in front of them. Pointed it at her like that and shot her. Last night, police say a dispute between neighbors is what led to three people shot and a standoff with the suspect. They say it started around 9.15 last night near 27th and Inglewood Avenues. Marcy Humphrey says her 19-year-old daughter, Shauna, was shot in her front yard by her neighbor, 62-year-old Henry Castro, and she says it was the most traumatizing experience of her life. I just, you know, just broke down, cried, uh, you know, hysterically. Carl Stone was also there when it all unfolded. He tells me he was with Shauna and his cousin, 43-year-old Michael Bretches, when Castro approached them outside, accusing them of allowing their dog to defecate on his yard. And from there, Stone says it escalated. He hurry up and grab my cousin by the neck, and then he pointed the gun towards his neck and said, now you're going to die. And, and I was going to try to do something, and he pointed the gun at me. He said, you do anything, I'm going to shoot you. Stone says they all tried to run, but Castro shot his cousin and Humphrey before retreating back to his home. Neighbors called police, and Mike Bastinelli with the Yakima Police Department says an hours-long standoff followed. He was holed up for several hours. We made several attempts to, to have him come out. Um, after about an hour and a half, uh, it was decided to call the SWAT team in. Around 3 a.m., Bastinelli says the SWAT team entered Castro's home and found him with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The victims and the suspect are all currently in the hospital. Shauna's mom tells me she was shot twice and was supposed to have surgery today. Jake? Thank you very much for following that story.